So when you think about what you'd like to drive along that new stretch of highway headed to the Golden Gate, there's one car that comes to mind. And so now I'd like to invite up the chief designer and creative director for that car and for the company Tesla Motors. Please welcome Franz von Holthausen. <laughs> Welcome, Sir, friends. Thank you very much. I'm happy to introduce you the Model S from Tesla. And the slide's not working. <laughs> this is the world's first premium all electric sedan. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why that's important. But what we need to do first is rewind a little bit and think about why we need to go electric and rid ourselves, as our mission is at Tesla, from our addiction to fossil fuel. So we'll rewind a little bit and talk about a few numbers. This is a pretty big one, one and a quarter trillion. This is about all the oil that we know of left in the world. And in my lifetime, we can actually see this all used up if we're not careful. And at the consumption rate that we're going at, it's uh, pretty daunting to think that we might not be able to drive our cars around the way we do today. 20 million, any ideas? Quiet out there. <laughs> this is how many barrels that we consume in the U.S. every day. And that kind of equates to 178 million gallons of gasoline that we burn in our cars each day. Again, a pretty incredibly large number. Any ideas on this number? This is what was deliberately spilled in the Kuwait war, and one billion more barrels of oil were burned during that war. Kind of a careless, useless waste of resources. This one maybe is a little bit more current. You probably heard this recently. This is what came out of the Deepwater Horizon. And to put it in perspective, the Exxon Valdez was just a shadow of the amount of oil that was wasted. This is a little bit different number, but it's still pretty big. This is the amount of CO2 that we burn in our cars, and this is if we're averaging 30 miles per gallon in our cars today. So you can see each car, or actually in the US, we're burning one point, or creating 1.25 billion tons of CO2 just in the U.S. And we're one quarter, the U.S. is one quarter of the world's use of oil and obviously creator of CO2. This number is a little bit different. This number is what we call this. And I don't know if you can see this a little more clearly. But this little guy is 18650. It's a standard form factor lithium ion battery. And in our current product, the Tesla Roadster, we use 6,000 of these, 6,831 to be exact, to power our car. And that creates a 53 kilowatt hour pack, which gives us a range of about 245 miles in an EPA cycle, zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds, and an exhilarating experience with zero gasoline. This baby here, 300 miles per charge. We found, through our current customers, Roadsters, that 90% of the charging actually happens at home. So the need for, in a daily use, 300 miles to commute to work and back, it's pretty extreme. But this car will actually replace probably what most of your cars out there can, can go on a tank of gas. 
this number, 45 minute quick charge. It's how quick we can charge the battery back up to 90% of its use. We've also designed the Model S to have a one minute quick charge capability. That means we can roll into a station in less time than it takes to pump a tank of gas. We can change the battery 300 more miles and you're on your way. Pretty awesome design, pretty awesome step forward in terms of what we're trying to accomplish with electric propulsion. It's an interesting number. In this car, we have the world's largest infotainment screen. And it's really about bringing our current culture and our current use of products, our cell phones, our computers, our laptops, into the automotive arena. Never before have we seen this. What's amazing about this car, it's about the size of a 5 Series BMW, holds seven passengers. We have five adults and two kids. We can do that because we have a flat floor. We can put three adults across the back, two children in the rear underneath the hatch. So it's a pretty efficient and amazing use. <laughs> it's a limited use case, but <laughs> it still works. And actually, we've designed this car to be able to withstand the same impacts that the front of the car would see in the rear of the car. And that's something that we pride ourselves in design, is that it's not just a pretty looking car, it's not just forward thinking, it's actually going to be one of the safest cars on the market. Here you get a little glimpse of this 17 inch uh, screen that's in the car. It's really about bringing today's environment into the car. This number, still shrinking, zero to 60 time. So we're not giving away anything in terms of um, performance on this car. In fact, it's going to be an amazing handling car. The um, weight distribution is beneath your butt. It's on the floor of the car. And acceleration, anybody that knows electric motors, it's all about torque and acceleration. This is my favorite number, and this is probably why we exist at Tesla. We use no gasoline, and we have no tailpipe emissions. And when you think about the first numbers that we saw, this car will be and give us the ability to start carving into that and being socially responsible and really ridding our addiction to this fossil fuel that is in limited supply. When I started at Tesla, I thought, yeah, this is a great mission. How do we get this idea to everybody, to all of you? What we needed to do is design a vehicle that was attractive in today's culture. It's not weird, it's not strange. The technology is already hard enough for a lot of us to get our hands around. So we just wanted to create an aspirational, beautiful product. It's lithe, lithe and lean, and man, who wouldn't want this baby parked in their parking lot or in their garage? I know I do. So with that, thank you very much. And I'm taking it home. <laughs>